Fox lovers to another video and today we're back playing corpse party and uh, this might be the last video of of corpse party um, uh, Well the last video of course party uh, chapter 4 Because I want to try to complete it <laughs> Guys, I uh, this game is so stupid I I'm gonna tell you this now that this game is the dumbest ever in the world this game is so freaking stupid watch look look at this look at this watch just pay attention <laughs> this is what i mean by being stupid yeah 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 oh. come this way mm -hmm. i go up here <coughs> then once i reach the top i turn this way Go all the way over here to this area. You see? I'm right here. Or at least into here. <laughs> Watch this. Watch this. What? Dude, how would I. How was I supposed to know something was right there? There is something on the wall. Or something that's right here. It, there's nothing even glowing, there's nothing that shows. Indication that there's something there. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark. Um, uh, recess is below. Try to pull it out, and yes. <laughs> Freaking shuffle. With a bit of um, with a bit of fidgeting. You were able to remove the item from its uh, compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stained uh, liberally with blood. <laughs> There's a name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School Class 35 Ryo Yoshi uh, Yoshizawa. What? What's going? What's going to be inside? I wonder. Here, have a look. No way! I'm not touching that thing. You look. Uh, have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh. <clears throat> what? 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 What is it? What's in the bag? See for yourself. <laughs> the bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. This is what that what I was reading about, where you have to deliver the tongues to all the kids return it return it this name tag it's a boy's name yeah and out of all the kids here there's only one boy the other two are girls so we already know where that boy is he should be in the infirmary if he hasn't moved yet because i know he does move later on but he was there when i left so i hope he's still there it must be the ghost of the little boy. <gasps> Pants. <coughs> Shinozaki! Pants. Pants. Gold pants. <laughs> what do we do with it? Ugh, it's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. Huh? Um, you out of your mind? The severed uh, tongue of one of the heavenly host murder victims, sealed in a small hemp bag. And yes, as we were reading of the How to Remove a Tongue Part 2 and stuff, you know. <clears throat> so let's go check the infirmary and see if the little boy is still there. And I'm hoping he's still there, because I don't want to have to go looking for him. I want him to be in the same spot that he was at earlier. Where he killed me. And that, 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 that thing right there is useless. It was telling me to look at stuff on the wall, but that made no sense. Why would I look at the stuff on the wall? It had nothing to do with anything else. Like nothing. <laughs> I'm still confused as to why that other girl is here. Cause there was the girl who survived who's in here. The girl with the red dress. 
Yes, he's still here. I know, no eye contact, right? Yeah, but Ayumi um produces the um produces the boy's tongue from her bag, but nothing seems to be uh, attracting his attention. He simply isn't noticing it. <laughs> In order to give him back his tongue, he needs to see it uh, to know we have it. So it's got to be directly in his field of vision, huh? Just dangling in front of his face. Not gonna happen. If his eyes meet mine, I'm dead, right? And then what? W wait, hold up. I've never seen you shake like that before. Uh, alright, then. I guess a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. He's all yours. No, stop. You can't. Let his keys meet yours. I think I'm gonna do this. No, stop. He can't let his keys meet yours. Uh, how am I going to do this? I need to give it back to him somehow. I'm gonna save it right now. <laughs> he has been saved. It doesn't really seem like there's anything in here that I can use. Um, I doubt it will let me go back up here. Yep, nothing. Nope, I can't go up there. Um, so now I have to probably look in every crack whenever I have to uh, find the other two tongues. Since I say, I'm just gonna try to interact with him from the front. Let me try it. And I got. It. <laughs> Crap, he's looking right at me. Uh, yep, no, this. That's right, I know your name. Show him the tongue. Yes, okay, great. I skipped all that, but whatever, it doesn't matter. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't I can't sympathize with what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair, pulling them into a horrible place like this, and killing them. You killed our dear friend. I can never forgive you for that. <clears throat> Shinozaki. But this is yours. It's part of your body. So I'm going to give it back to you. Hand it over, Ryo's tongue. My, um. My tongue. Thank you, miss. Damn. <gasps> Oh, why is everything shaking? What? What's going on? Ah! Oh, we're back here? Damn it! Another earthquake? You've got to be kidding me. Wait, isn't this where it ended last time? Whenever we were back with him, it ended here. Ah! <sighs> I won't get anywhere by wallowing in self-pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please wait for me. First things first, though. I need to go check on Naomi. Okay. Girl in the red dress. Hey! Hey, you wait! Okay. I found out that... Okay, yeah, it's just seeing mother again. Kill you, yeah. I found out where the last name tags are. All of, um, there's only, one is in one room, and then, an, uh, so there, there are rooms that I haven't been to yet. But one is in one room, and then, um, <laughs> then all the rest are in the same area, so, yeah. Seiko's cell phone. So I could have done the thing as well here, maybe? I don't really know. I have Seiko's cell phone now, and yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I still need someone else to get the other item. And apparently you can't actually go into this custodian's closet, because uh, uh, you're able to get the key. I don't really know where you get the key. I don't know which. I don't know which chapter. If it's this chapter, if it's next chapter, I don't really know. 
I just know you're able to get the custodian's key. I can go in there. I wonder what's in there. So, yeah. Oh! Naomi? Satoshi, please don't leave me alone in here like that. Oh yeah, I forgot. Naomi is alive here. <laughs> I forgot that she's she's not dead in here. So yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I was out looking for Yuka. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Did you find her? No. The corridor that leads to where I saw her last um, went back to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school Yuka, Morishige, and I were in um, is different from this one. We need to find some way of traveling from one space to another. Yeah, that other girl got brought us here. I don't. I forgot her name. Oh, uh, yeah. That would be ideal, right? Or that would be ideal, yeah? Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black shadowy mist. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was a long time ago, back in chapter one. So I was a little scared to be in there, afraid it might attack me again. You serious? I'm really sorry about that. Then... Don't worry about it, but there's something in there for sure. I think we, sh I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. Okay. I don't know where we're, ha where we have to go. I don't know why this area is dark when it was not dark in chapter one. But whatever. I'm gonna check. Um, I was, I was gonna check back up there, but I don't feel like it. Um. I'm still wondering how Miss Yui got over here. Because she used a door right here, but that was back in chapter two. So I don't know how she, and she got crushed by all that rubble last time. And yet she still managed to escape, make it to this chapter and be right here with us. So I don't know. I wonder, is the tongue there as well? I'm gonna have to interrupt with the walls a lot. You know, because... Because we need to um, cure all three spirits. There's three spirits that we have to give tongues back to. And I think we have to give the tongue back to a spirit in this one as well. Oh wait, wasn't there something there? It was like right over here. Doesn't look like it's here though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, since I have Naomi, then I'll be able to do this, right? <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's there. And then I'll be able to do it with Naomi now. I don't know what that is though. Okay, I know exactly where it is, so yeah. It's right here. Right here. Right there, there we go. They have a lot of this, this type of mini games in this game. Nami! Nami, now grab it. Oh, we got the custodian ski! Okay, great! Acquire custodian ski. Nicely done in there! In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something uh, similar before with Seiko. Uh, did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. Great! We get to move on to a new area. Let's just save real quick. Oh wait, no, the saving thing isn't in here, so yeah, never mind. I can't save yet. Ah, yes. Because the door is locked. Yes, yes, yes. Use the custodian's key. Yes, we get to go in here. I was just talking about this earlier as well. Let's go. New parts, new area. Whoa. 
Oh wait, who turned off the lights? What the? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Ugh, something really smells. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? I'll try. Uh, um. Found it! Woo, thanks. What was that about? Man, it does stink in here, and it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Probably not. Huh? That's odd. What is? Oh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could I could swear I've been I've seen this room before. Yeah, wait a minute. I th I think I've seen this before too. What? It does kind of look familiar. I don't know where though. Um There's a video. Oh, what? There's a video camcorder lying on the TV. It's a uh, casket, it's empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out, however, uh, as the LCD's display isn't turning on. What is something uh, this recent doing in a place like um, place this old? Maybe it belongs to someone who was brought here like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV and it's out of battery, so it doesn't um, look like we'll be able to get much out of it. Out of, uh, much out of it. But what if we find batteries? I don't really know. What if we find a cord and batteries and we might be able to do that cassette thing that we have? <laughs> Inside the cabinet, there's a notebook labeled Night Guard Logbook and a few crumpled pieces of paper. This is a custodian's closet. Why is there a Night Guard Logbook in here? Heavenly Host Elementary School. A confinement to, to uh, and I'll take in applications. The sheet of paper cont uh, contains what appears to be a seemingly endless list of names. The lettering is worn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. There are old moldy tea leaves floating in the stagnant water. Every day up through November 18th, 1975 is crossed off the big X. It's an old-fashioned space heater. Something sticky seemed to have been melted all over it. All over its surface, there are stains everywhere. What? Oh, and I also found out that there's no victim memories in this one. Yay, I don't have to go and look through them. There's no victim memories. The last two endings have to do with one thing, and then the, the main ending. Yeah, you know. <laughs> there's a magazine article here from a public uh, publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. It's a follow-up to a previous report. Read it. Oh, this is the second one to that other one we have. Strange but true stories of o of the occult. Chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. Follow-up by Ko Kibiki. Let's take a bit more. Uh, let's talk a bit more about uh, Yoshi, uh, Yoshikazu uh, Yana, Yanagihori. Beloved son of Heavenly Host Elementary's principal. Uh, Takami, um, Takami... <laughs> Yanagihori. The man was was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with um, peerless um, uh, panic. But then the illness struck and little by little his um, whining personality gave way to pursue instincts. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. <laughs> Although the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but um, simple. Simply put, it the good teacher had had become had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long forgotten festival, perhaps given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class uh, degraded quickly, more often than not. His lectures would cease before the period's end. And he begun, uh, he be and he'd begun wailing mournfully. <clears throat> Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incidents, Yoshikazu uh, reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually um, incapable of forming words without in 
without intense focus. Uh, given all the evidence um, mounted against him, Yoshikazu ya uh, Yanagihori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and discretion of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor. Yeah, but the sole survivor was like, was uh, she's in this school as well, but why? The sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinozaki, age 7. In search of the truth behind the less scientific um, afflictions this incident sp uh, spurned, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Sachiko, Sachiko best as the girl with the strangling, uh, unusual red dress. Strikingly unusual red dress, Sachiko. I, it's hard not to feel sympathy for someone who, um, someone so young, forced to watch other children like, um, for other children her age, begin uh, tortured and killed one by one. Yeah. And certainly, if I were to find Miss uh, Shinozaki and sec and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full-grown and hopeful, um, well-adjusted adult for over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objective, with some objectively, and give a more thought account, a thorough account of what happened that day. I know, but why is she here? Why is she here? <laughs> I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Oh, okay, but look, the ghost is gone. I guess we really, really managed to uh, appease it. Are, are you alright? <coughs> You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose at least. Oh, yeah, what the hell? Not on my shirt! Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? What are you two? Ugh, that's really gross. What are you two? Ah, that's really gross. Not good. She's uh, not normally like this, Shinozaki. Yep, she just. Uh, we just merged. I have to interact with everything. No, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tongue article, blah, blah, blah. Time to save again. Now I don't know where we're gonna, where we have to go. Um, we still need to find two people. I can't, I can I still I can't go up there. We need to find two people, or two tongues, two tongues somewhere. I don't know where. I swear they better not make it to where they're up against the wall or something again. Because I would have never found that by myself. I still can't go over there. Wait, what if the custodian's closet's unlocked now? Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna go check the custodian's closet. I still don't know how that one person found out where that was. Because I did watch a, a guide on to where to find the tongue or something like that. And how did he even find it? There's nothing here on the wall that indicates something's there. So how did he even find it? That's still locked. Yeah, I'm confused. <laughs> I need to find this tongue or something. Yeah, the caution there is definitely missing. <laughs> Still nothing over there. I'll I'll go back to the the entrance and then I'll go over to the other area. 
I'll go down here and then go that way. Wait, what? What did she say? Uh, go to where the floor collapses, but then I uh, got a uh, one step rooster, ten paces rat. What do we go to where the floor collapses? Where's that? I need to go to where the floor collapses? What does that mean? The floor collapsed everywhere! <laughs> If you look at the whole freaking school, the whole f school is the floor is collapsed. What, what do you want me to do? Wow, I now understand. I understand now. Because remember that one time, there was actually a gap here? And then, it just fixed itself or something? I don't really know, but... This is apparently where I was supposed to go. I, I just thought of that now just by looked. I saw a crack there, so I clicked on it. Though the floor here has clearly collapsed previously, the gap seemed to have mysteriously closed up on its own. It feels completely solid. I know, but this, I, I, this has to do with something. I guess not, but that did tell me something. It did give me something. It, it, it is telling me something. It's like I can't get anything from it, like no tongues or anything like that. But it did tell me stuff about the floor being collapsed and stuff like that. But yeah. Um. <laughs> Seriously, that antique doll makes no sense sometimes. It says where the floor collapses and like. Uh, there's like the floor collapse everywhere. I already went to the place where it, I'm actually able to interact with, and it mentions the floor being collapsed. So, yeah. I don't know anymore. I just, I guess I'll just interact with everything. Okay, here's a candle. I'm gonna save again. I'm just gonna save every time I see a save point. Are you referring to over here? Because the floor did collapse over here. I can't go on the other side because freaking... Um... Ayumi's being a little bit... Um... Let me see, does this say anything different? Come and join us, we'll be waiting. Waiting pa impatiently. Why are you waiting impatiently? Don't wait impatiently. I don't want you to wait impatiently. This is our... This game confuses me. The floor collapsed everywhere. Does this say anything different? <laughs> nope, it just mentioned it's the same thing. Never give up, yeah. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down. Mm. Um, go down here. There's seriously nothing else I can do here. The only thing, the thing I can do is interact with the wall and other stuff because, you know, that's what happened when I found the other guy's tongue. Something has to do with that area. In the, in the stairwell? 
uh, stairway and stuff. There has to be something to do right there. Because why else would it be uh, telling me something there? Because I go there, interact with it, and then it tells me something. Can I me still being a little... D, um... I mean, it doesn't want me to go anywhere. It doesn't want me to go upstairs. It doesn't want me to go outside. Where, where do you want me to go, Ayumi? Where? Because the floor clearly collapsed everywhere. <sighs> Let me go see what it says again. Only tell me when I enter here. Go to where the floor collapsed, but then, uh, but then got better. What? What? One step rooster, ten paces rat. What? I already know what it's talking about. It's talking about the stairway, because that's the only other thing where it collapsed and then got better. And then that's the only other place. That's act I'm able to interact with. That's new. It's right here. Though the floor here has clearly collapsed previously. Yep. Okay. I just gotta interact with everywhere. Nope. Nope. Freaking hate riddles. <sighs> what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I seriously can't do anything here. One step rooster, ten paces rat. What's that supposed to mean? Um, I might have to go look it up again. It was right here. It was right here. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised, peering through the crack. You can just barely make out something since it's in the dark raises below. Okay, well, I found it. I guess I didn't have to search it up. Why? So stupid. From beneath, old-fashioned pocket watch. The heck is this? Uh, doesn't look like it would fit any door I know. What? Did it say pocket watch? What did it say? A winder. Winder. What? A freaking winder? What do you want me to do with a winder? Put it on the back of the freaking doll? There's no doors in here that uses a winder, you know? The only door I I've seen that used a similar looking key, I guess, is that one. Ah. Oh, oh my god, I... Okay, I'm wrong. It did indeed slip into the device. We bought trouble, but nothing happened. Oh, come on! Did you try turning it? Try forcing it, yeah. Ow! Just pop my freaking jaw again. I hate that. Gah! What's happening now? Are you serious? Are you serious? There's another doorway! There's another freaking doorway! Okay! That was strange. There's another doorway over there. Hmm. Okay, I'll try to save again. Could we 
We found a doorway. That's right here. Whoa, get a load of this place. It's got showers and everything. It hurts. Make it stop. My God. Oh, God. Hit my head. What? Ayumi. Ayumi. What's going on, Ayumi? Blood? Shinozaki! Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Another nosebleed. If it's not just her if it's not just her nose, it's fine, but if a blood vessel bursts in her brain or something. Here, Shinozaki. Stuff some tissue up your nose uh, to stop the bleeding. Thanks. I have some of my own, but since you got yours out already. Yeah, go ahead. Did the ghost get to her? No, she's been a little off since before that. I think she's probably reached her limit. She needs to rest. Oh, who's that? <laughs> Who's down there? The locker is empty. The bucket, okay. Does this room count as the locker room? Doesn't look like there's any dead bodies in here, so yeah, no, this isn't the locker room. This is just the shower room, I guess. Hmm. The locker is empty. Yeah, but why do I only have to interact with that one? That's kind of sus. There's only one locker. No matter how hard you turn the hell on the water, comes out of the plot, so yeah. Okay, yep. Uh-huh, need to interact with them all. There's blood from, from Ayumi's nose. This is, uh, that, okay. Oh, we're at the pool side. Yes, this is where I need to go. There's a note right there. A pool, huh? Can't even see the other side of it with all the rain. <laughs> all right, here it goes. Shinozaki, this clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll for a bit? You'll catch your you'll catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. I can handle the search. Uh, you just wait for me in the locker room. And what's going to happen if a ghost shows up again? Mm -hmm. You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll cat. I'll call you. And you can and you can come to my rescue. All right. Just don't do anything stupid. Thank you. Damn. You see, you see something? I've got to try to uh, lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. Time to find the dead bodies. What the heck? Oh, weird. What's up with this murky water? There's no telling what could be down there. All I know is I wouldn't be caught dead in this pool, of course. I can't really swim, so. There's no dead bodies. Caution! Confirm all swimmers have uh, uh, confirm all swimmers have vacated the pool before draining. There is a sign on the door that says pump room. Pump room. The door is locked. Oh, something here. <laughs> it looks like there's a key lodged in the crack between two tiles. Try to dig it out? Yes. This is probably the key to the pump room. Yep, pump room key. Acquire pump room key. Pump room, huh? I've had enough. Oh, 
you. Was that? No, there's no, there's no way. Come on, give me a break here. I'm pausing. I'm pausing. Cause I need to read. I, I want to get this ending first before I do anything else. Cause I feel like if I succeed at this, cause I um that's I you me in the pool. I need to save her. But I feel like if uh, I don't want to get, I feel like if I save her, then I will complete things. So. Feel to find out you mean the pool and let the time run out. So I'm gonna do that one first. I'm just gonna sit here and relax. I'm gonna go read that note first though. I'm gonna go and read that note that's up there that I saw and just waste time. Cause I need to get this ending. <laughs> water, water everywhere, but not a drop of, not a drop to drink. Yep, okay. Time to just walk around, mind our own business, and then, yeah. And then another end thing is I just gotta drain the pool before the timer runs out. I think what I'm supposed to do is go inside of the pool to complete this, but I'm not going to. Because it says do not go inside of the pool and then drain the pool, so. I'm just gonna wait until the timer runs out, get this ending, and then restart drain the pool without going inside and then there i'll have all the endings completed well not really i'll just i'll have to save ayumi first and then go and uh do the the, the main ending i just hope because like there's supposed to be bodies here um Yeah, there's supposed to be bodies in the pool side. I don't know why there isn't. Yeah, because there's one body found died in a pool, but is unaware of her own of own demise. So it's supposed to be a name tag that I find in the locker room. And then all the rest of the name tags are found by the pool side. But I don't see any dead bodies here. That was it. That was that was really boring. Drowned in murky uh, Stegan's water. That was a really boring ending. Now I just gotta drain the pool because it did mention that uh, not to, or that uh, uh, that make sure nobody's in the pool when you drain it. So yeah. Somebody goes over here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, whatever. Let's cover here. <laughs> Interact with the note. This is no running by the pool. Oh, wait, the text changed. It says no running by the pool, but when I checked it uh, the second time, then I guess it says something different. Okay, now, let me see. It's, it's, it's essentially an oversized faucet or pump, obviously used for filling the pool. Its entire surface is covered in moss. That seems to have absorbed some of water, puffing it up with a thick blackish green coat of ultra shiny slime. Okay, I got this. Come over here, discover the pump room, then go up there and get the pump key, and then that's where the timer starts. There's that right there, though. Before I get the pump... And before I get the pump key, I'm gonna go read the note, because there's a note right up there. I just noticed that. Huh? 
So this note is like, um, let me think. This note is like the, the thing that's inside of the rooms, you know? Like, you know, those, the, the, the back and forth things. Now I have two minutes. Two minutes to drain the pool. See, I see, look, it's just gonna go back and forth. Okay, the key, okay, great. <laughs> Damn it, this is, this is gonna be hard. I need to freaking drain the pool somehow. Um, how do I, it's so dark in here. How am I supposed to drain the pool? I, I can't see a thing. Um, a crud label written on a piece of tape attached to the device reads water pump. Right below it, there's a, a slot for some sort of lever or handle. Are you kidding me? Um, turn it, yes. Uh, <laughs> drainage dilemma, drain the water. What, what was that? Did something get stuck in the drain? Ah, uh, Ayumi got stuck in the drain, buddy. Ayumi is in the drain. Damn, look at all those dead bodies. Ah, <gasps> oh, man. Why was the drain open? Why was it open? That's not, that's not good. Ayumi dies. Oh man. Mm. No, Shinozaki! That's Shinozaki! Wh why did this have to happen? God! No! No, Shinozaki! No! Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay, that was not good. That was not good. Shinozaki was stuck in the was stuck in the drain. Stuck in full drain, body shredded. Not a garbage disposal. Why is it? <laughs> okay, well that's done. <laughs> uh, time to complete the game. Time to complete the game and get the the first ending, the final ending, I guess. The main ending that I'm supposed to get. That buddy that went inside of there for no reason. I'm gonna come back here once I start the thing, you know. Once they start the timer, I'm gonna go back down there to uh, see. <laughs> Cause I need to find that body. There's one, there's supposed to be a body in the locker room. I need Shinozaki alive cause I need to do that. Okay. There has to be a way to get in the pool. I'm gonna go look in the locker room because I think that's what it might be telling me to do. <laughs> the locker is empty. Shizaki! <laughs> Damn it! She's not here! I guess that really was her then. What the hell is she thinking? Okay, I have a minute and 20 some seconds left. 
What is wrong with me? What am I doing? I should have I should have never taken my eyes off her. This is my fault. God damn it! I need to hurry up and get in there. And save Shinozaki! 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 We're supposed to be over here. Pretty sure this is where the waves were coming from. Uh, it is. It is. Right? I remember correctly. If I remember correctly, this is where Shinozaki should be. No? <laughs> She's not here. Did I pick the wrong spot? Damn it. This is this makes the game harder. Right here. Right, right, right here. Right here. Come on. It is. Come on. Come on. No. Where is she? I don't have a lot of time here. I'm glad the time freezes when I'm here. Bro, where is she? Right over here? No, I can't interact over here. I, have all the I don't have all the time in the world, you know? Where the heck is she? I can't interact everywhere. Why isn't it letting me interact? There you go. I only have a few seconds left, come on! <laughs> She's not? Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? So stupid! Where was she? That's so dumb! Where was she? What the heck? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what's, what's this? <laughs> How old are you guys? Oh, you guys? Oh, you guys saw it. I was just looking at my, uh, like at the the Wikipedia I was using for Quartz Party, like to find, to find out the endings and stuff. <laughs> and I, I think I just saw Naomi or something just walk across the screen. <laughs> Just a tiny, like, uh, person just walk across the screen. I think it might have been Naomi. I looked like her. Okay. This time, before I interact with the thing, I'm actually gonna go back and save. See if that... Uh, just so I won't have to restart all of this part right here again. Just see if I can save. I don't know if I can or not, but I'll try If I can't, then I can't. I'll just um, go back, interact with the key, and then, you know, try to find out where the freak out, not for the freak Seiko is. Because Seiko is really hard to find for some reason. I don't know why. She just. Where is she? <laughs> where is she? Makes no sense. Seiko, how you doing? Well, not much report yet, unfortunately. Don't worry though, it's not like I'm too scared to keep looking. If a spirit lashes onto you uh, when your defense, uh, uh, when your defenses are down, it'll be, um, it'll be whippy for the rest of your life, so please just be careful, okay? I, I will. I need to keep looking. God damn it, I wanted to save! Something here? No, okay. I really wanted to freaking save, bro. Is there anything over here? Nothing, okay. Oh, but I just have to keep redoing that part again, I guess, if I fail this time. Uh, just because it wastes, like, more time whenever I have to go back, and then whenever I have to go see if Seiko's there. It wastes time. Okay, I think I remember where it was. Okay, if I remember correctly, it's over there by the log. Right in front of the log. 
I got to remember that, okay? I, I skipped past it, but I, I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, it's by a log or something. Okay, I got this. Okay. Um, there's so many logs, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's in front of a log? Right here, this is where I saw it. Come on, so you could be here. What? I saw it right here. Maybe here. I mean this one. Okay, but that's so stupid. That is really dumb. You're wasting my time here, bro. I shouldn't have skipped it whenever it showed her jumping in. It was in front of one of these logs. Well, let me do all that right there. Oh, here, maybe? No, let me interact. Why? There you go. I think I might have checked this one though. I only have like 40 seconds left. I don't want to have to restart this. I do not want to have to restart this, dude. But I know I'm going to have to. This game is being really dumb and not working. I need to check all this, dude. There's only like, uh... Where is she? Where is she, dude? Where? Uh... This is such a pain that I have to restart every single time. There's no save points there. So I can't save, so I have to restart from the very beginning. So I have to go through everything again, all the way over here. So much of pain because the characters are freaking really slow. This dude is so slow. I don't care, Seiko. Go away. I'm glad you fell into the pool. I need to pay attention where she fell. This time, pay attention to where she fell. Because I interacted in all the spots it would let me, and I know she fell in front of a freaking log. So how come it wasn't working? I interacted in front of every single log, and not and some of the logs wouldn't even let me interact with in front of them. I need to get her out of there so I can drain the pool. Okay. Where does she fall? <laughs> Right there. One, two, okay. I think I might, I think I have it. I think I might have it. <laughs> okay. So two and down. Two down from the from the log at the very top. The second log at the very top, it's on the right, I think. Or no, it's just the one up here. One, two, and right here. This is where it was. One.
It's her! Yes, it is! No worries, Shinozaki, I'm pulling you up. Damn, we got her now. <laughs> Shinozaki, Shinozaki! Good, at least she still got a pulse. Phew, phew, phew. What lies beyond? Perform a rescue in the pool, okay? Come on, breathe already. Damn it! Phew, phew, phew. You back with me now? So tell me, why the hell did you jump into the pool? <sighs> you called me out there, didn't you? I what? I heard your voice, so I ran outside, and after that, I don't remember much else. The next thing I knew, my vision was all uh, this sickening green color, and my mouth was full of water. <laughs> God damn it! Was this the work of those ghosts again? Can't believe they uh, can't believe they can trick us so easily. Uh, there's got to be something in that pool. <laughs> Ew, uh, something tucked to my tooth. Oh god, it's like algae or something. <laughs> Wonder if the showers still work. They don't. Wasn't it raining though? That one's broken, why are you even trying it? <laughs> Nothing. I can't get rid of this horrible taste. I smell abs and I smell absolutely put um, putrid. I hate this. <laughs> So. <laughs> How does she think I feel? Shinozaki. How about we go into the rain and wash ourselves off a little? Oh, yeah, it's raining still. Yeah. Though I don't know how much help rainwater will be um, for getting that taste out of your mouth. <laughs> okay. Alright. After this, I guess we'll need to figure out how to dry our dry, how to dry our clothes. Feeling better? <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, I was able to rinse out my mouth pretty thorough, thoroughly. Were you? That's good. So, Shinozaki, while I was out here, I came across a room in the back that I'd kind of like to check out. <laughs> I'll go with you. That's probably for the best. All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay, now we can get the now we can get the name tags. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's right over here. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. It's the body of a female student rotting and decay. Um, Mitsuki. <laughs> It's the course of a very tiny individual um, being pickled in this filthy brine uh, for so long seems to have bloated its skin into a, a patchwork of putzel uh kanziki. <laughs> Based on size, this appears to be the body of a high schooler. 
Long-term exposure of the dirty, contaminated water has left it quite a mess. Here it is. Okay. Here it is. It's a lot of the female student writing indicate. Okay. So it goes. <laughs> okay. I removed the I removed the wheel from the water pump and threw it into the pool. Hopefully. That'll keep anyone from finding the little treasure I left in this uh, spirit. That killed my friend. She can spend eternity without a tongue for all I care. What? <laughs> so apparently you threw the wheel in the water, but there's no freaking wheel here. Okay, the dim, dim light around you, um, the dim lights around you are reflecting off of something deep inside the drainage grate. Try to fish it out, yes. So we get the tongue next, right? <laughs> what is this thing? Some kind of handle? A rusted valve wheel. <laughs> I know where this goes. Over here. <laughs> Ugh, that's as far as it's gonna go. I think it's too rusted to turn anymore. Okay. Now what? <laughs> What's in here? <laughs> it's a small hemp bag stained with uh, copious amounts of blood. It seemed to have fallen from the sp spigot. An elementary school's uh, uh, an elementary schooler's student ID name tag is attached to it. <laughs> uh, Tokyo uh, uh, Suji, Suiji. The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Ugh! It's a girl's name. <laughs> Acquired. Okay, we have another person's um, tongue. Now I just gotta f go find that student. <laughs> Where are you taking that? Give it back. I was not expecting this. I will give it back to you, okay? I just need to find you. There's supposed to be a dead body in here. Where is he? I'm so confused. <laughs> Oh, right here! <laughs> okay. A high school uniform has been shoved haphazardly into this locker. Okay, Takuya Ari. Now I have all names, all name tags for chapter 4. We just have one more ending to complete, and then there, we're done. Done with chapter 4. <laughs> Let me go save. I don't know where to find this girl, though. <laughs> we need to find this girl. But I don't know where she is. Oh, right there! <laughs> Both up there. What drone do we give it to? Who is it? Damn it, which one? You, 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 you! No? You! You! Full tongue out back. <laughs> the little girl's spirit is staggering towards Aimi, blood gushing up from across the section she walks. Please! Be the right one! Uh, Tokyo! Suiji! Suiji! This is yours, isn't it? I'm giving it back! Offer the spirit, uh, Tokyo's tongue. Yes, I got it right! <laughs> well, what happened? The other ghost is headed this way, we have to run! Where is your tongue? 
Where is your tongue, girl? I need your tongue. <laughs> I don't know where her tongue is, but we gotta find it. We have one more girl. <laughs> oh, the girl with the red dress. Get your booty back over here. <clears throat> weep, weep. <laughs> here we go again. Where the hell's it gonna, um, where the hell's it gonna take us this time? Weep, weep. <laughs> Where your friends was splattered. Well, now you're actually being freaking. Now you're actually being like helpful. The other times I didn't understand at all, but now where your friend was splattered, my use on the wall. So of course that's like floorboard. What? Right under her globy entrails. Where the floor dips and the blood pulls. <laughs> drip, 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 drop, drip, drop. Are you telling me we're gonna have to look through her remains? We're gonna have to look through her remains. <laughs> smelly, smelly, icky, icky. Get in there, good, and dig it out. <laughs> no! That doll is creepy. No! You're getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch. God, if that's where it is, I'm not sure we can ever bring ourselves to get it. I can, I don't care. F my you. Is, some, is someone there? Where's she gay? You're alive! How'd you- How'd you get here? How are you here? Ah, Kishinuma and our class rep. I'm very glad to see you both, uh, see you both safe and sound. <laughs> Why are you money? <laughs> what happened? What happened? It's a long story, so where have you been? I was in the second wing until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. And when I woke up, and when I woke, and when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. <laughs> oh yes, and I did briefly cross paths with Mochida and his sister. You you did? So they're okay too. Uh, they are, though when I next ran into Mochida's sister, it seems she and her brother had parted ways. Um, Morishike? What is that in your hand? <laughs> ah, Morishige appears to be grasping a blood soaked pouch. <gasps> Thank you, Morishige! <laughs> you actually did something useful for once, because these two people were too scared to dig into freaking Mayu's. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this? I, uh, found it under the floorboard in the hallway. <laughs> Just up these stairs. <laughs> Is it some kind of charm? Do you want it? Please take it. I'm merely searching for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms at the present time. Receive another tongue bag from Morishige. As with the others, there's a student ID name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Hills Elementary School, Yuki Kano. Well, I should be going. Is something wrong, class rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. One more thing. Moshida said we should all try to meet in classroom 1A. Uh, okay. I I'm guessing... <laughs> it wasn't from, you know, Suzumoto's car. Maybe it shifted over a few feet, and he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... <laughs> that really freaks me out. That really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. Well, what? Isn't the bag covered in blood? <laughs> and I still feel like he killed that one girl. I'm not entirely sure. I could have sworn I saw him holding a freaking knife. I'm gonna give the bag to this little girl. 
if she's still over here. I doubt she is, though. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah, hey, little girl. <clears throat> Get hit back! Get hit back! This girl's missing an eye. All we've got is a tongue. Is that going to be enough? What do we do? Pull out the tongue bag. Oh, yeah, she might need an eye. Because she did jack freaking uh, Yuka's eye. <laughs> the girl lowers her head and begins rocking slowly back and forth. Yuki, Kana. <gasps> this is for you. It is yours, isn't it? Offer the spirit Yuki's tongue. <laughs> you. Thank you very much. Yes, we did it! <sighs> oh. Pant, pant, hack. We did it! We did it, Shinozaki! All three of them! All that's left is the girl. No, no, no more! Every time I talk to these ghosts, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. Do you have any idea what that's like? I keep picturing how I'll look when I'm dead, and I'm not even trying. I've seen you dead like a couple times, so... Eh. It just pops into my head all on its own, and it's such a horrible image. I want to go home. I just want to go home back to my mom and my sister. And Mochida. <laughs> Shinazaki! Alright, next one is mine then, okay? So, just try to pull yourself to get- What? What's going on? God damn it! Not again! <laughs> this one's big too! What just happened? Whoa! What? <laughs> oh shoot. That did that. <sighs> Oof, was I? Knocked out? Where am I, Yoshiki? Huh? What? What? Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up, I need to read. I need to see this. Okay. <laughs> Is this our classroom? <laughs> no fooling. How are you back here? The needle on the clock in the hall is pointing to eight, and there's not a soul in sight. <laughs> the desk back here. It's so weird. Why can't I interact with her? It's raining outside, I believe. Shizaki! <laughs> hey, wake up! She's breathing, at least. <laughs> Shizaki, come on, wake up already. Shinuma? <laughs> Uh, what? <laughs> Take a look around you. I can hardly believe it myself, but here we are. <laughs> no way. <gasps> We're back. For real? Is this really our school? <laughs> it's re really real. Check it out. Here's my desk. Mine too. It's right here. I can't believe it. It's true. 
Yeah, we made it. We're home. We're home. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Suck on that, world. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see home again. <laughs> Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else, huh? Well, they haven't made it back yet. Venturing out in search of others, you find that even the janitor has likely gone home. The lights are out and the halls are pitch black. <laughs> Only the red glow of the light next to the fire extinguisher offers any respect, any respite from the um, uh, quant quite darkness of the school hallway. <laughs> Standing around in the dark, uh, darkness, a uh, darkened corridor of our school building at eight o'clock in the evening just feels so surreal. <laughs> Did they actually make it out? I wonder, did they? I don't know. <laughs> as the thunder and rain grow, uh, as the thunder and rain grow in intensity, the windows began to uh, uh, condensate with moisture, uh, turning white in contrast to the corridor's sea of black. <laughs> it is this reality. Was everything up until now just a dream? <laughs> Where am I right now? And what am I doing? Eek! What? Shinozaki! What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong, Shinozaki? What the heck? What? What the hell is this? <laughs> it's not over, is it? Why isn't it over? Why? Damn it! <gasps> it's you. <laughs> no! Go back! Don't come any closer! <laughs> what do you want, girl? It was a rainy evening after school, just like this one. On the day I was kidnapped. I remember I had a fight with my mom that morning. <laughs> well, why is she telling us this? I have no idea. <clears throat> I didn't want to see her face. We already know her name, so why are you still calling her girl spirit? Well, I forgot her name, but still, I want I want you to tell me her name. <laughs> what was her name? Um, her name is Yuki. Yeah, her name is Yuki. <laughs> so after school, I decided that instead of going home, <laughs> I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little and watch the rain. <laughs> That's when Mr. Yoshikazu showed up. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with mom, and he listened really closely and just kept saying, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> he was sick and couldn't speak much, you see, but he was a very kind man. He jacked your eye and tongue, so, yeah. I really like him. But then... <laughs> <laughs> you two are nice people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's so tiny. She must be fifth grade. She must be fifth grader. Yuki Kana, right? Ah. <laughs> Thank you uh, for what you did back there. For making the effort to help those of us who were killed in that school. <laughs> Wasn't there many of them? So why are these the only three? I thought like more more kids were dead. Or no, actually, never mind. There's only three. Now I remember when I read the article mentioned only three that uh, three dead. Three, four kidnapped, three dead, one survived. <laughs> Didn't we succeed, though? So why are you still here? No, you didn't. <laughs> but 
We return, returned your tongues. We gave you back your ability to speak out. And we even got your, uh, your murderer to repent for what he did. Is it just that you can't forgive him no matter what? Appeasing us isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. <laughs> Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's a sole act ca um, capable of moving us. And we exist as fragments of the sacred grounds upon which Heavenly Host is sealed. I believe that moving us is your best course of action. <laughs> but it's not enough. His repentance just wasn't enough. So you're saying his words, the words spoken by the doll, weren't good enough to appease you? That's not... <laughs> See, she's nice, but she was, uh, she was an ass earlier, so... Yeah. Huh? So... what then? <laughs> Why do you feel the need to trap out one? In why do you need to? Why do you feel the need to trap one innocent stranger after another in that godforsaken place? You child spirits are the ones who summoned it. That's not true. Uh, the hell do you mean by that? We're just the cogs that hold the closed spaces together. <laughs> but you, you killed Suzumoto, didn't you? Wait! Huh? Let's hear her out. I'm just glad I was able to get even the two of you back to safety. <laughs> why the hell are you so, why the hell are you suddenly so concerned about us? I hear about I heard about a situation like this from your sister from my sister once. <laughs> A lost soul whose life was ended violently and abruptly, leaving her with a mountain of worries and regrets. It's, it's kind of like stopping short at the edge of madness. With all sorts of thoughts and feelings swirling around in your head. Your kindly nature and your sudden hatred and panic began to spin around and around, and you start, and you just start acting one. You just start acting out without any sort of control. <laughs> your sister, is your sister, some kind of medium or something? Yeah, something like that. So what you're saying is this little girl and the creepy little girl. We met before our two sides on this of the same coin. <laughs> I feel for you. I really do. So please, please bring the rest of them back. Machida, Miss Yui, and everyone else too. Bring them all back home. Come on, you can do it, right? I don't think that's possible anymore. Why not? <laughs> Those closed spaces have eaten a lot of innocent souls. Far too many, in fact. The grudges of those who died there have filled every last corner of them. There is no room left. And because the agony and pain has nowhere else to go, it's begun feeding on the minds of, s the minds of souls like us who are bound there. <laughs> it won't be long before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. So, we're going to lose you as an ally then? So, why don't you just hurry up and bring them home right now? Isn't there any way for us to save Mochita and the others? There may be one way. What, what is it? I think you already know. You have to return to the close spaces. Find all four of us heavenly host serial kidnap kidnapping and murder victims. All uh, four? Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Serial kidnapping and murder victims. So, because uh, they all got kidnapped, but only three of them got murdered. So, yeah, so we have to find all four. So, yeah. 
and put us all to rest. Then the closed spaces won't have their cogs anymore, so they'll begin to fall apart. I don't understand! Why is the other girl there, though? The girl in the red dress! And you just might get sh your friends back. <laughs> you expect us to go back? And and this time, instead of just having one person left to uh, appease, we have to we have to go back and uh, uh, back to the drawing board and appease all four of you. Why couldn't you just um, tell us the reason our previous efforts weren't good enough? What is there to hide? <sighs> it's just something I don't want to remember, but. <laughs> Sorry guys, my, uh, my, my my model crashed. But yeah, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened. <laughs> uh, Yuki's spirit uh, gently took hold of Ayumi's hand. And in an instant, their two, be uh, their two beings seemed to merge together into a single mind. Ah, wh what's going on? Ah. Shinozaki! It hurts, it hurts, ah! Ah. Huh? What happened to me? Didn't I pass out? So why am I fully aware right now? I can't see a thing, and I can't move. <laughs> it's like that feeling you get when you're really tired. A uh, sleep paralysis, I think. Ah, where? Why can't I move? <laughs> That's weird. Why is she in the body of the other man? Sachiko Shinozaki, the little girl in the red dress and the only survivor of the horrific murders that occurred in Heavenly Host Elementary School. We're back here. <laughs> Following the incident, Sachiko's family f fled from the area. Moving to another prefecture to escape the frightful memories that remain here. Strangely, however, I've been unable to locate any other record of the Shinozaki family. No matter where I look, the only information I can find about them comes from newspaper reports on the Heavenly Host murders. <laughs> Granted, when an elementary school become, uh, becomes a stage of a um, grisly incident such as this, um, preparations by none other than the principal's own son. <laughs> it stands to reason that the scandal would serve as the primary focus for public interests, with all other details fading into the background. So of course, after learning that Sachiko, Sachiko was safe, further news of her whereabouts was largely ignored in favor of the media uh, circuits surrounding the, new, surrounding the school. But there's more to it than that. Uh, people weren't just uninterested in learning of Sachiko's history or whereabouts. There was simply no data to be had. <laughs> what? What happened to Sachiko? Okay, so uh, what happened? So I guess I understand. So what happened with Ay Ayumi? She merged. Uh, her memory, like the, the ghost Yuki merged her memory, so now Ayumi's living out uh, the memories of Yuki. So that's why it shows Ayumi right here, with the other kidnapped victims. <laughs> I can't move my body because of sleep paralysis, I guess. But I can clearly see the room I'm in now. How? If they all have blindfolds on, how is she able to see? There's one boy and two girls in here, aside from myself. <laughs> I recognize them. They are the children who were killed in heavily hosts during the incident, but they are still alive. Unfortunately, they're all bound hand and foot and just sprawled out on the floor, and so am I. That's the real reason I can't move. <laughs> <laughs> Can't look stupid. <laughs> Somebody please save me. <gasps> mm -hmm. 
<laughs> no, stop, no, please, no. I I here I eyes. Uh, 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 no, I can't see. Now I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that happened to me. That's happened to me. And since my hands and feet are tied up, I can't remove the blindfold either. Your hands aren't- your fingers aren't tied up. You can just move your hand. And your hand, you can move your hands. It's only your wrists that are tied up. You can just go whoop, take off the blindfold. <laughs> That just makes everything so much worse. I guess because I can't see, I, I begin to listen more intently. Frightening sobbing. <laughs> the helpless cries of the other children echo off the walls of the cramped room. So I'm so scared. It feels like my head is going to explode. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Why am I blindfolded? <laughs> Untie me, cut the ropes. I want to be able to use my hands and feet, please. Please! He can't hear you. I kept um, begging and pleading, but all I uh, heard in response was the man walking away from me. In order, okay. In order. <laughs> in order. <laughs> what? I've never heard screams like that before, like this before. It's pure, primal. Ter it's pure, primal terror cutting through the air, like a perf, what, like a perfect, uh, sin wave. It's the boy at the end. His tongue is getting chopped. It feels like he's been screaming for an eternity. I think he's been killed, right? I think he's being killed right now. <laughs> My god, what the hell is- what is- what, what the hell is he doing to him? How does Sachiko escape, though? No one deserves this. Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious so he doesn't have to suffer? been at least a half an hour now you've been in this dream for half an hour those inhuman screams of a young boy being uh, rippled apart from the inside have finally come to halt <laughs> no 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 then this girl's head is gonna go okay guys i am back <laughs> uh, ah. oh oh Ah, <laughs> no. God, I can't take any more of this. I'm losing my mind. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Is it still going on? Come on, just die already. Die already. God, what is wrong with me? You know what? I don't care. Just get it over with, and leave me in peace. You're gonna have to experience the pain of your eye getting ripped out, Ayumi, so... Ah. Finally, after hearing a sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noise stopped, and the room grew quiet again. The heavy object is the top of her head. Thump, thump, thump. Those footsteps are getting closer. <laughs> All my hair standing on on end at this point. Everything below my stomach feels like it's frozen, and like I've suddenly been uh, stricken with severe diarrhea. <laughs> okay. In order, God, why am I why am I relieved by the silence? The kid next to me just died, which means it's my turn now. Ah. Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up. And taking off my blindfold, which means I get to see the face of my killer. The four missing children were found in a basement room, a heavenly host elementary school. 
unused and officially sealed, sealed since the building's construction. When the authorities entered, um, they were greeted with an inhum inhumanly uh, horrific sight. <laughs> Based upon the evidence at hand, the murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors. Oh my god, that's so loud. <laughs> Based upon the evidence at hand, the murder... The murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors. Yep. Investigators suspected some hesitation on the man's part. However, as the as the deceased victims, uh, victims wounds does not indicate that um, that his full strength has been used. Uh, nonetheless, he has clearly acted with extreme ma um, malicious intent. <laughs> the official cause of death for the three murdered uh, murdered children has been listed as loss of blood fo um, following removal of the tongue. But the actual state of affairs was not quite so clinical, nor even so pleasant, if you can believe it. The following details have been extrapolated from information previously un unreleased to the public, or at least previously un un reopened um, by new by news outlets, unreported. Okay. These details of the crime are based on the official police testimonies of Sachiko Shinozaki herself. Sachiko Shinozaki herself. <laughs> Evidently, the victims were bound, uh, blindfolded, and sp and spaced out on the floor, and then killed one by one. One was repeatedly stabbed in the uh, abdomen with uh, the aforementioned pair of scissors. Uh, then had many of his internal organs forcefully dug out. <sighs> his discarded innards were found uh, partially burned beneath um, the earthen floor of the basement. Buried. Another was stabbed in the head dozens upon dozens of times to such an extent that all flesh and bone above her jawline was essentially minced away. With my blindfold removed, the sight that appeared before me was more horrific than anything I could possibly have imagined. The person- damn it! It was one of the children. It was one of the children? Oh, 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 what? Oh, what? I was actually, I was maybe thinking this might actually, like, you, um, uh, what? Okay. Oh man, I was actually, I, I was gonna mention it earlier, but I was, I was think I, I just didn't know when to, but like, I was gonna say maybe it was actually Sachiko who was the kill. What? Okay. It was a little girl, her face dyed red with the blood of her victims. What? She was staring intently at me with soulless gray eyes and then. <laughs> She just started giggling. Sachiko! <laughs> oh man! Oh, what? Giggle, giggle. Why was the teacher there though? Did he assist? Like, what? Just opening and closing the bloodied scissors over and over again. And the sound kept echoing, echoing through the room. <laughs> then she took those uh, dull, rusty, uh, thoroughly blood-soaked bl blood soaked blades. Still don't know why she's here, though. She may have been the killer, but didn't she move away? And slowly brought them closer and closer to my, to my left eye. Oh, man. <laughs> How? Why? Why is it you? No, no, no! 
<laughs> the third victim was stabbed in the left eye and indeterminately number uh, an indeterminate number of times until her eyeball became soup like uh, like in con uh, consistency uh, in like soup like inconsistency okay she was eventually just uh, left like that slowly bleeding to death in horrible agony Strangely, it was only after these um, mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Learning the truth about these um, um, proceedings is shocking even to me, and making it nearly impossible to accept the, murders, uh, the murderer as anything but a monster. <laughs> and and uh, bearing witness to even moments of this was a seven-year-old girl named Sachiko. In many ways, she's the most pitiable and long-suffering of them all. Sachiko was a killer, but it was through her uh, tearful, frightened, uh, frightened testimony that. Uh, Yoshikazu uh, Yanagihori was officially charged. So she framed Yoshika, y Yoshikazu. Now going back to the hunt for information on this unfortunate girl's whereabouts, it was her word that ultimately led to Yoshikazu's sentencing. Uh, therefore, it comes as no real surprise that sensitive information pertaining to her and her family would be with, with, uh, withheld. That's to be expected. What's not expecting, how? What's not expected, however, is that there's not even the slightest trace of this information left to find. It's as if it simply never existed. <laughs> Therefore, I cannot help but consider alternate, possi possible explanations. And I remind you, this is mere uh, conjecture. What if the Sachiko is like? The cause of the, the Sachiko ever after, after ritual. But one question uh, keeps, uh, keeps nagging at the back of my mind. Was Yoshikazu really the mur murderer of, these vi of the three victims? No, he was not. Is it possible this crime is not actually perpetrated by him at all? Seriously, why is Sachiko just roaming around the school just looking at us? Like, she, she just st stands there and just stares and then walk, runs away. Think about it. In his final days, Yoshikazu was incapable of communicating with others through speech. And despite his childlike um, reversion, he's, um, he'd always been um, a personable and friendly man. As the saying goes, he wouldn't have heard a fly. <laughs> All his, all his relatives, friends, and neighbors confirmed as much. Ow, I just bit my tongue. Uh, shocked to hear that such a kindly man um, could commit these unconscionable uh, actresses. Okay. I guess it kind of makes sense. But like, why did he hit Yoshika, uh, uh, Yoshiki in the head, though? He certainly had no motive uh, for the crime either. There was nothing for him to gain from it. <laughs> then again, he simply he may have simply have uh, he may simply have lost his mind. Look at his father. It was around the same time that Principal Takamai, Takamin, um, Yanagi Hori suddenly began speaking in tongues and acting in a most particular way. Not to mention scribble, uh, scribbling incomprehensible gibberish all over his walls, as if possessed. He seemed frightened of someone who would often be found uh, crouching in the corner of his office, moaning and thrashing even visitors came uh, when even visitors came back. If he could wind up in such a um, um, beleaguering state with no warning, then perhaps uh, so too could his son. Dude, this chapter is really long. In total, I've been playing this chapter for two hours. I believe that I believe that we're looking at a curse far more powerful than anything, ma anything man could devise. From the time it opened its doors to the day it closed uh, them forever, Heavenly Hills Elementary School's sealed basement room has existed has existed as some form of cursed ground. 
And to find the underlying cause, we must go back beyond the infamous kidnapping and murder incident. Back to, back a whole 20 years. I believe I may have found a clue that could uh, shed some light on the situation. It may, it may be a bit far-fetched as, as leads go, but it's a lead none, uh, nonetheless. <laughs> Regrettably, since Heavenly Host was... I do not know how long this video is. <laughs> it's gonna be a long one though, because I want to finish the game right now. Regrettably, since Heavenly Host was not only closed down, by, but demolished altogether, and another school built in its place. Wait a minute. It's no longer possible to investigate the basement room directly. But my, um, uh, protege has found what may be the next best thing. Something that could make the impossible, uh, possible once more. Preparations are being made to pursue this lead even now. Be sure not to miss the next installment. It may be the scoop of a lifetime. Ko Kibuki, 2003, 7.2. Wait a minute. That was the end? Continue in chapter 5. Whoa! <laughs> Return and pursuit. Got them all! We got all the name tags for all four chapters. We got all endings for all four chapters. We have one more chapter left for the main whole story. We're gonna beat the main game tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow. Whoa, 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 whoa wait a minute. <laughs> on my screen again. <laughs> this time it's freaking Yuki. Yuki is just floating on along my screen. What, what's going on? That's so confusing. Uh, my, maybe tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. It's Actually, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know when, I don't know when I'm gonna make the next video, but we're gonna continue it next time in the next video. But that's really, that's really, that's really freaking. What? What's going? On? <laughs> okay. Sachiko is the killer. Um, the. Um, the freaking. Um. I think, I think maybe the basement has not been destroyed. Because the whole main school was destroyed and replaced with the school that uh, our guys go to. But the basement might have not been destroyed. It might still be under the school. So, uh, yeah, that might be what they were referring to in the, uh, in the letter. <laughs> but guys, that's the end of chapter 4. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. This is, this is, might be a long video. I do not know how long, but I just hope you guys enjoyed it. And I, of course, will see you all in the next video. And peace out. Bye-bye.